Hi, my name is Colin from UK Security Cameras, and we're going to just have a run, quick run through of the graphic interface for the uh, KIQ DVR range. So we'll press the menu button, and that brings up the main menu. And you'll see we've got six icons here playback, record, HDD, setup, advanced, and exit. So we'll hold up the first one, which is playback. This brings you a uh, date and time, and to search for recordings, you press the search button and that then brings up any recordings on the hard drive showing the date here and the time here so let's just go back to yesterday and look at say uh, 2 o'clock yesterday and there we go, there's a playback of myself speaking to someone in the, in the showroom along the bottom you'll see the transport controls for playback, rewind, fast forward play, stop, mute and volume etc and that's the exit one also here you see you have a file list this is a list of all the recordings taken by the machine. On the left is the camera number, the time, the date and the file size and what type of recording, whether it's a normal or alarm recording. If you want to take a backup of that, you select the tick box by the right of it, each one, and then select the backup button. Next on the menu is a record menu and this is where you set up your camera for different quality, D1, HD1 or SIF different quality levels there, best, fine and normal, different frame rates whether you turn the channel on or off, some people only use one or two channels on DVR so disable these two the record mode, whether it's by schedule timer or when you turn it on how long each file is packed down to, normally default is 60 minutes but either of those is fine and whether you're using audio or not next up is the hard drive one tells you the size, what you've got left, how many hours you've got the recording left select this one, tick it to enable formatting this one switches your overwrite on and off and here you can do your formatting of your hard drive or your memory stick then we go into the setup menu and this is for the general operating setup don't adjust this off English unless you can speak these other languages especially Chinese <laughs> Uh, setting the date and time up, different formats and obviously we're GMT to here so let's just set that to there okay. passwords enable or disable and you can set them up here for a user and admin you can also clear your Internet Explorer password if it's, uh, it's been lost then your cameras you can name them set up the picture that sort of thing brightness, contrast Here is the monitor output, various outputs there, Paolo NTSC and the volume control and then finally exit the menu. Into advanced now we've got the settings for alarm, various alarm states, uh, email setup whether you can whether it sends emails. Now this, this unit will send an email snapshot, so it'll send an email and a picture of any trigger general information about the unit motion detection here with the uh, setup grid mobile setup for the uh, mobile streaming that's the port it uses 15961 maintenance for uh, automatic reboot that sort of thing system updates restarting you then got pan tilt zoom settings here, you've got Pelco DMP and also Everfocus. Network settings, standard stuff, DHCP static, PPOE or 3G. And exit again. So that's it. General overview of our KQR 4 4-way DVR. This is also identical to the 8-way issue as well.